Good morning, Smoke Ring. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So as we continue our, not search, but continue our journey uh, doing the reviews on our Placencia cigars, we've come up with what? Well, today we're doing the 1898 Reserva, which is the European release cigar. Um, it is medium bodied. Yes. But extremely full flavored. It is not a Nicaraguan Puro. It has a Jalapa wrapper. Honduran binder. Honduran binder. <coughs> and Nicaraguan fillers. Um, I get a little bit of a chocolate note on my dry draw. What about you guys? I get a Not little big Newton. Yeah, I get a little bit of that plus some fruitiness. So it's, it's a fruity sweetness. I don't get like a chocolate sweetness, but I get I can see the cocoa, more like a bitter cocoa. Gonzo, do you know what you got other than not Fig Newton? No. I really couldn't well pinpoint my, my oh shit. There's uh, no pepper there. No, no pepper at all. But it's got a long finish. Yeah, that's what it's about. Hmm. Definitely a cocoa note there in the beginning. Yeah, I get that. It's got um, some really mm. some really good natural sweetness. A little leather. Yeah. yeah. The finish is, I think the finish is what's strongest. The actual draw flavor is, is milder than the finish. The finish is, is like, wow. It's like you're still smoking a cigar right now. Yeah. And that's big time leather, big time this is, like cedar. <clears throat> this is one that you'll enjoy not smoking. You just you enjoy the time in between puffs. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. That is, holy cow! And the retro hill is like a big blast of cocoa. It really is, with not much pepper. It's a real smooth retro hill. No, no. You can. I mean, there's been some that we've smoked lately that. You retrohale this early in the cigar, and and you yeah. get you get an aneurysm. You exactly. Start, you start bleeding through the ears. Getting, no, getting notes of blunt, uh, getting notes of blunt force trauma and TIA. <laughs> but <From> this, <laughs> this thing, this thing was almost designed to be retrohaled from the start. Yeah, yeah that's really. Which sweet. there is a little kind of spice to it in the back of my throat, but I mean it's nothing like pepper. Well, it's almost like a baking spice type thing. I, I think that if if you would not have retrohaled it, it pro that spice in the back of your throat would probably not have been there. Right? Mm. I think that because I, I wasn't getting any of that. Maybe. And then once I, I retrohaled, then I got that in the back of my throat. I love the retro. I'm, I'm retrohaling like every time now. <laughs> maybe a touch of cinnamon. Mm. Yeah, that could be the baking spice I'm talking about. Mmm. As much as I like reading about the cigars, when I start reading about them and like read about the flavor notes, now I'm looking for those flavor notes. If I don't find them, I'm like, is something wrong with me? <laughs> like I've yet to pick up a walnut. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> or a fig. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten fig and I'm, I'm but usually we're, right on that fig. Yeah, we're this far into the cigar. So, so. this is, um, what, we're in the, what, what is today? The 26th? 20, 26th. Yeah. yeah. So we're two weeks out. We're about a week and a half out from from our event. Again, remember, um, we will honor the event deals on the 5th, the 6th, the 7th. The 7th is the actual date. Wayne Clark will be here from Placencia. Wait, who? Wayne Clark. Oh, Wayne Clark. Okay. Wayne Sorry. Clark. Hello, Wayne. Um, this beautiful sculpture is one of the items. This, this is actually ours, but there's one of these that will be given away uh, with the, the event on the 7th. Uh, double tickets for early purchases. Yep. Um, but all drawings will happen on the 7th. And um, you don't want to miss this. This is really good. Wow. So you can't buy this cigar. Nope. The one that we're smoking right now. You cannot buy this cigar here in the United States. Uh, but you can get it 
with purchase, with qualifying purchase at the event. Wow. I'm having a hard time saying anything. I just want to keep smoking. It's like this, a yes, very, really very good. good. I, 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 part, of it, get, part of it is that we've all smoked plenty of Placencia. And mm. so to finally get a hands on some, a new Placencia. That, something new. Yeah. I mean, it's like you really want to enjoy it. And talking about it almost seems to take, like right now when I'm talking, I'm tasting the finished flavors. You know what I mean? So I don't want to, I don't want to say anything so I want to taste it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very good. It's well worth purchasing some of the other Placencias to get your hands on it especially since you can't get it here in the States, so. Oh my goodness. Cinnamon toast. Hey, cinnamon toast crunch. Now I want some I cereal. I get cinnamon toast now. Mm. It's, I, I don't know, like French toasty. I, it's, it's, I like this, yum. Um, <clears throat> shitty part about it is that we're gonna have to buy a lot of cigars for ourselves just for us to get this. Yeah, I know. Willing to make that sacrifice. I, I, I will have to make that sacrifice. <laughs> yes. This, this, you know, if people buy us out, then we won't have any of these left. What? Don't yeah. tell sad stories like that. Don't tell sad stories like that. You can't handle that. Anyway, this is really good. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, so what do you think about this compared to the uh, Fuerte? I don't think we're deep enough into it to, to yeah. you know, compare it to that just because the Fuerte has such major transitions in flavor and we haven't transitioned really that much yet. And in that, um, I think it's a stronger finish than the Fuerte. Um, more of a punch of flavor on the finish. Um, the cocoa and stuff is, is right up there with the Fuerte though. So, yeah, I, you know. I put it right up there with it right now. You know, it may transition into right like... Right now? Yeah, it may transition into like, you know, seaweed in the next third. I'm like, oh my God, I hate this cigar. I hope not. <laughs> I said I'm something, gonna, I'm gonna I said say something not. else that Gonzo just got sad about. Seaweed. I don't think oh that's going to happen. No. But I'm just saying that, you know, it's you hard know, to compare the litter. two right now. For this much of the cigar, it's right up there with the Fuerte. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, phase two of the Placencia 1898. We've gone a little ways through the cigar. Ben, what do you think now? I get it transitioned nicely. We got, um, you know, in the beginning there was some cocoa. There was not a lot of spice or anything. The retro hill was really good. And a long leather wood, you know, very strong finish. Uh, stronger finish than the actual draw flavors. Now it's more um, like a nutty sweetness, like I said, cashew. Still get some toasty flavors, and the burn's perfect. I mean, the ash is holding on really well, so it's it's a real good cigar. I mean, it's right up there with a Mama Forte, especially with the transitions. So for me, the, the weird thing is <clears throat> I get a lot more flavor out of this on the retrohale. This is one that I want to retrohale constantly. It's, yeah. it's weird um, that it almost feels more like a, a Connecticut in body when you're smoking it, but very full flavor on the retrohale. Uh, you still get flavor from the smoke, the original smoke, but you get a lot more on the retrohale that I like a great deal. And the finish. The finish oh, yeah. Is, the, finish the, finish is, is the finish is long. Yeah. The finish is very long. Gonzo, what you got? <clears throat> well, for me, I, I, I do... I do enjoy the uh, retro hail quite a bit now, now, um, and I don't I don't get a lot of sweetness. I get more of that leathery. Oh, um, wah wah. <laughs> ben Ashton. I'm an amateur. Um, I get I get more of that leathery nut flavor to it, and I mean I did have a little issue with my with my burn, but nothing that I couldn't quite correct. So, um, all in all. I am almost in love with this, and it saddens me that we are, we're, we're only going to be able to smoke a small handful of these cigars. Yeah. One thing we read about, just real quick, is about the, um, the, the tobacco and the filler being aged five years, and I think that has a lot to do with the smoothness in the cigar, the lack of pepper in the cigar. It's the first thing to go away when you age something. A lot of times is the pepper, it smooths out. 
I think that has a lot to do with the way it's so um, kind of medium flavored on the draw flavors and then ex you know, like full flavored on the retro hail and uh, the finished flavors. I think that has a lot to do with it, the age on the cigar, which makes it, you know, all that more, yeah. you know, unique. Now, now I've not had anything to eat yet today, and I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a nicotine kick from this. Not, not heavy, heavy, but a little bit. Uh, ben, on the other hand, said that he did have some breakfast earlier, and he's not getting that. Um, so that'll make a difference in your smoking experience. Yep. But um, all in all, I believe that this cigar is something that you'll enjoy immensely. And the only way to get the cigar is to buy cigars at our event. Um, we're doing, what is it, 4 and one 10 and 3 Yep. So 4 and one 10 and 3 is the only way that you can get the cigar at this time. Um, and trust me, it is very well worth it. I mean, you, most of you already have had a Placencia or two before and, are in, and can say that they've fallen in love with the cigar. This is another cigar that you're going to fall in love with. So the, the Alma Fuerte, which we will smoke next weekend, uh, is the number one best-selling cigar in our lounge. Um, and it's, it is for a reason. It is extremely good. The, uh, the Placencia Original Reserve is definitely in the top ten of our best-selling cigars. Um, the Fuego is another that is right up there. Uh, so although Placencia only has like five different uh, cigars to choose from for the event, uh, they are all extremely good. Um, oddly enough, you know, I, I think it's one that we don't smoke frequently enough to appreciate. You know, we did the, the Campo yesterday. No, we video did the, we did the, 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 the cosecha. The cosecha yesterday. Yes. The video will be coming out once, once Gonzo <clears throat> manages to cut it down to size and post it. Um, that was a really good cigar yes, also. It was. Yeah. Um, so we, <laughs> we're very happy with the Placencia line. The Cosecha is, is one that I think uh, Placencia says is their best selling cigar. Not necessarily here at our lounge, um, but it actually has more body, more, more strength than this does, according to the internet. Um, and I can see that. I can see that. Uh, so, you're going to enjoy the event, and you're going to enjoy these cigars, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in about a week and a half when you make your purchase and you have an opportunity to smoke these with us. Are we going to do another small update when we uh, get down to the final? No? I don't believe so. Huh? So, I think we're going to cut believe. it here. Okay. Uh, maybe in the next video we'll talk about how the, uh, how the third element of this was. Uh, but until then, stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy. Salud. Salud.